Okay, and welcome to what is actually the first uh, vlog, uh, video log for taleofale.com. Uh, I'm Reuben Gray, uh, I've been writing about uh, the beer, uh, mostly in Ireland, but all, of, all over the world uh, since late 2008. Uh, I figured it's time to give this uh, YouTubing uh, vlogging thing go. So, here I am, and what better way to start than with a beer that uh, well, the, uh, what, what, what they seem to be saying is that it's the first sort of completely 100% trackable uh, beer in the world. It's got this, um, this well, <laughs> QR code, because everybody uses a QR code, and uh, yeah, it's called Downstream. It's a hybrid IPL, uh, which is an India Pale Lager. Ooh, okay, the spiel on the back, it says, Blessed are the curious, for they will have the best kind of adventures. Downstream tells you everything you want to know about the, your beer, its ingredients and brewing methods. Uh, it uses blockchain technology, uh, so let's see, Block blockchain technology allows us to reveal the authenticity behind the brew. So you know for certain that, that what you're drinking doesn't just taste fantastic, but it's real honest to goodness craft beer. Hybrid IPL showcases the best of IPA and lager styles. It is clean from the from the lager yeast, but innovatively hopped and dry hopped with uh, cryo loop below uh, N2. Uh, it's a registered trademark hop. Uh, it's got grapefruit and sticky sweet stone fruit aroma with a layer of pine. Uh, drink curiously and responsibly. So there we have it. Um, I'm going to have to scan this QR code uh, in a little bit and see what comes up. Uh, but for now, let's see what happens when I open it. Bottle didn't explode on me, so that's always a good start. So, it is a beautiful, clear, sort of uh, golden amber. Lovely, lovely bubbles rising. It's, it looks like a lager. No, it looks more like a lager than a pale ale. Uh, massive, frothy white head coming off it. Uh, oh, do you like my uh, white high glass? Lovely, isn't it? Uh, oh, yes. That's lovely and fresh. Uh, yeah, definitely you can get the pine resonance and citrus notes there. Uh, it's the caramel. All right, I'm gonna dig right in here. Hmm. Yes, it's clean. That's that's what we're going for here. It's a uh, you know. So, so you're getting that crisp, clear, clean um, lager goodness uh, that you wouldn't get from an IPA, but it's it's hot like an IPA. It's yep. It's doing it. It's doing exactly what it's setting out to do. I actually quite like this. We also get to discover here who actually makes it. Uh, brewed and packaged by Downstream and Morn Mountains Brewery. So it's a collaboration of sorts. Uh, excellent. Um, quite like the packaging. The QR code is just sort of, it's part of the main, if we just take a look at that, it's right there, QR code. Uh, it's just part of the label. It's not something that's hidden away. It's simply there. You don't have to select it. It has the ingredients on the bottle. Uh, so, water from the Morn Mountains, barley, contains gluten, wheat, contains gluten, oats, gluten, uh, hops, yeast, and uh, allergen vice is the ingredients, which is what we just read out. So, yeah. Um, anyway, interesting. Hybrid IPL. Oh, it is 4.5%, in case you're wondering. Uh, but it's still a delicious clean beer. Well done, guys. Uh, I suppose we should, uh, you know, actually scan this QR code and see what actually happens. Um, so let's get to. It. By the way, if anyone's wondering why all of a sudden I decided to start doing some video, uh, well, I suppose there's a number of reasons for that. Um, I've done videos before, uh, you know, brewery visits and, and like, but not very much. To be honest with you, editing a video is a lot. You know, it's a lot more complex and takes a lot longer than, uh, say, writing a blog. You know, I can write a blog anywhere, just as long as I have a keyboard, type, 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 job done. Do it any, anywhere, anytime. I can even do it on my phone if I need to. So, um, 
yeah whereas uh, I need a lot of equipment to do video it's not you know I suppose you could just stick a phone in your face and sit record and away you go but uh, I think I'd rather do it a little bit more interesting um, so right at this moment I have three cameras on the go uh, so I've got two D DSLRs I got a brand new uh, Canon EOS 77D for Christmas um, okay let's be honest with you I bought it for myself it's not really for Christmas I bought it uh, during uh, Black Friday uh, yes Black Friday is now a thing in Ireland for some reason but anyway I got the camera for after discounts and Canon rebate 599 euro it's normally either side 1000 so I'm happy with that. Um, I've also got my old Canon um, 700D. Uh, one of the reasons I bought the 77 was because the video function uh, and also live view on the 700D stopped working mysteriously. It just crapped out, uh, got all cropped. Um, so yeah, it was time to get a slightly newer camera, uh, but stick with the crop sensor so that I can still use the existing lens that I have. Um, roll on yesterday, I was playing around, uh, slightly dropped my uh, 700D, just ever so slightly, just fell out of the bag, probably about a, a foot into the air onto a soft, soft wood floor. Um, turned it on, everything was fine. Uh, for whatever reason, decided to turn on the live view as just, just, just in case. And it worked. And it's still working. And it's recording video right now, so I'm happy. So now I have two DSLRs that can record 1080p. And I have my really old Samsung Handycam. I'm looking at you here. Uh, also does 1080p. It's, it's grand. It's not great. Uh, I suspect the colour um, on this one's going to be very different than the colour patterns on the other one. But um, yeah, alright. So, uh, I've also um, got a Lavalier mic, it's just hidden underneath here, and uh, I have a big bright light coming at my face. I'm not sure how it's going to look when, but you know, let's see how it turns out in post-processing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, the other reason I started doing the, uh, the video, and it's not just because I have all the equipment to do it, I've always had the equipment to do it really, but now more equipment, uh, is I injured my knee, so I'm on crutches for the next week, uh, so I'm working from home. So it's given me time to just sort of, you know, if I'm working from home I have, you know, I can see the equipment that I have and it's like, oh, I can set it all up and now that work is over uh, for the day, uh, I'm already at home and ready to just record an item and uh, have a beer. So here I am. Uh, so in the meantime. See if you can find this beer. I don't know who's selling it, but uh, I believe that it's really, if, if Ireland craft beers are involved, uh, the idea must be that it's being exported to the UK and probably further afield into Europe. So yeah, uh, look for it. It's, it's good. And Moore Mountain Brewery is the brewery in Ireland uh, that's brewing it. So yeah, thank you for stopping by. Taleofale.com if you want to read a bit more. Uh, and anyway, cheers. <laughs>